Solar Reserve has a unique and innovative technology. It's large-scale energy facilities, but we have an integrated storage solution that can collect the sun's energy and provide it round the clock. It allows our projects to operate on solar energy, but like a conventional natural gas, coal, or nuclear facility, which provides on-demand power even after the sun goes down. The Crescent Dune Solar Energy Project is our flagship project. It started construction in Tonopah, Nevada in the fall of 2011. The Crescent Dune Solar Power Plant is a molten salt technology-based 110 megawatt power plant. That's enough to deliver power to approximately 70 to 80,000 homes. It truly is rocket science. It is the first of its kind of its size in the world. The process of storing the solar energy starts with this heliostat field that we're in. We're standing in the middle of what will be 10,300 heliostats, which will concentrate their energy on the top of a 640-foot tower. On top of the tower is what's referred to as a receiver. It's made up of a bunch of tubes which molten salt passes through. The whole molten salt process starts from a cold tank, which the salt is stored in at 550 degrees Fahrenheit and it's pumped up through this 640-foot tower to absorb all the concentrated energy of these heliostats and raise the salt temperature up to 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit. It goes into a hot salt storage tank for future use as far as energy and electricity generation. Essentially, the rest of the power plant is the same as any other power plant. It's basically a steam turbine. The steam is generated from superheaters that exchange the heat from the molten salt into water, make the superheated steam, and deliver that to a steam turbine, which delivers the electricity to the NV Energy Utility Grid. Essentially, we have the bulk of the civil work completed in the power plant, the molten salt storage tanks. They're nearing completion right now. There'll be a lot of pipe work in the near future, as well as a lot of cable installation. We'll complete construction towards the end of this year and complete the plant probably in the second quarter of next year, 2014. The legacy of this plant will be that it will be a game changer. At this point in history, natural gas is very cheap. Will that be that way in 10 years, five years? Who knows? This power plant can do anything that any other power plant can do, only with this power plant, there's no fossil fuel involved. It's strictly the power of the sun.